Hello people, it is Peg and today I am just working on a project for you. This comes from a group from Creative Arts Collaboration. Uh, my friend Marta and a few other artists are getting together and we're going to do a hop. So I am just pulling out some colors. Uh, I think I want kind of a blue-green mix here. I'm going to use these uh, DecoArt Media Paints and a brush and I'm just going to get, this is a, a board, this is a watercolor board from Crescent. It has a foam core in it and I'm just going, this is a 9 by 12 and I'm just going to get some color down on the background and I'm going to start with these paints and a nice brush, let me get a kind of a nice three quarter inch maybe brush. Yeah, that's three quarters. So I'm just going to start, let's see, let's start with these colors. Got a little sheet here I can put my colors down with. Get some of this as a, a primary yellow, green gold, Just a little green gold, a little of this uh, blue green light, some uh, cobalt teal hue, and a little bit of the phthalo green blue start with those. See where my palette is headed, right? This is just supposed to be a quick video, so I'll try to do it as much in real time as possible. I'm going to take a spray bottle and I'm going to spray this down. Just get it wet. Get my paints wet also because I just want to get a nice blend going on here. So I'll get that yellow down to start. Let me get a towel. I've got a goober on here already. Get a little green gold. Get a mixture going. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. Give me some more of that, baby. Get that mixed in to that background color. Collaboration uh, was supposed to focus on flowers and doing some kind of canvas. So I've got my background. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to grab some archival ink in a watering can and some of my favorite stencils. I've got some, uh, these are Tim Holtz collection from Stampers Anonymous. And I want to put some, put some shadowy imagery in the background here. So I'm just going to take my stencil and this ink and layer in some of these florals. Let's see what we got. Yeah, see there? Just what I was looking for. Maybe go up a little bit higher on this one.
Okay, so we've got that. I have another stencil I want to use, but now I'm going to switch to some of those paints. I've got that Thalo blue-green, just a dot, and I'm going to grab a little bit of Payne's Gray And um, let's see, let me grab a stencil brush. American Tradition stencil brush. These have been around for ages. And you just want to load some of that paint into your brush. Less is more here. And we're just going to stencil in. Firm. Get that mixture of color. Let's see how we're coming. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. So now I'm thinking about adding something more of a focal point. So I'm going to get a brush and some colors here. And I think I want to just paint some blossoms in the garden. a little bit of Payne's Gray in with those uh, Quinn colors because I want to create a stem to support my florals 
and I didn't really want them in the traditional green. So this is how I, I do that. I will create my stems. and leaves for these and this can actually I will come back with some uh, pens of course because I need to do some finishing touches. Now this stem I need a little bit of the bottom of that plant and then the stem will come down this way. This one will attach of course like it's on the same stalk. I'll just do a few smallish leaves here like that. I think I want that to go yeah down like so and I will come back with some pens finish this out and give you some parting shots I hope you enjoyed this go watch the other people that are in my description box below it's a fun hop lots of florals I think you'll enjoy it